that G got my nutlows Or me I'm just saying you pull up to the scene, they be filled with jealousy If a bitch get Stop <laughs> Finicky, she gon' bring the energy Hit a phone with a C Three, two, one, action Do you have a light? Video and I'm back for another video and I hope you guys are having a good time and welcome back to my channel honey guys I will show you guys in today's video how to buy a put in option trading using Webull okay so first let's go and screen record so we can see what is going on now when you're buying a put with Weibo or buying a put in option trading, what it means is that you believe that the stock will go down and it will keep going down and that if it gets down to a certain point, willing to buy that stock at a cheaper price. Now, when you buy a put, what you're saying is that, okay, I am willing to buy the rights to sell a contract at this price so what would happen is that you will be having a debit from your account when you go into trading it has a different buying power so let's show you what it looks like okay in reality okay so i will go to my Weibo account okay Weibo. okay good so look up there you see i have market value buying power option bp that's option buying power okay cash balance settled cash crypto buying power now each of these are different especially for crypto but buying power and options buying power tends to be similar okay so i would be using nile which is one of the companies i have in this portfolio to show you guys how to buy a put okay now i would go click on nile but if i don't have this stock at all i'll go to quick trade and i will type nile okay that's why you can buy a naked put or you can buy a naked put okay now i have this but i want to go to the company itself so i can go to my positions okay okay let's go to my positions get to nile good now i'm at the home page of nile right i'll go to options see that not every stock has the option trading chances or opportunities some companies don't give option trade um tabs okay so that means they don't have option trading so if they don't have options you would not see option tab so i'm saying that now i don't think now would i feel now will keep going down for example so i don't want to lose any more money so i can say okay if now comes back to so i will do a strike price because i am the one buying a puts right so i'm saying that i want this uh let's say 0 0.5 now if it goes to 0 0.5 and i'm the one buying then i am willing to buy a put so I'll go to single now I'm buying a, remember when you're buying single options call you have to pick call you have to pick put I'm sorry we are dealing with puts single option you go to single option puts you have to change it to puts don't use call because you're going for puts okay you feel the company will keep going down so if you want to make money as the company goes down then you go for puts so with that if it keeps going down then you're making more money so i would go with a one dollar strike price so 
with this if it goes keeps going that i will be making money if i buy this put but the person who sells the put will be losing money then if it goes back up i would lose money as the buyer and the person who sells would be the one losing the money okay that will be having a less profit because when i buy there will be a debit from my account where i have to put as a collateral or an advance or a premium for the person who is selling right so i'll be the one paying an advance payment that if it gets to this certain point i am willing to buy so i can do below like 0 0.5 or one dollar depending on the price i am willing to buy this stock at so i would go 25 so i will be let me say 20 that if it comes to 20 as the option i'm willing to buy this contract go to single option now you see delta tether break even would be 80 cents Weibo automatically does the break even for you when you choose your strike price okay delta shows you how the amount of decay of the stock value during the contract period okay and this graph just shows you that if the price keeps going down you the buyer would make more money and if the price goes back up to one dollar this seller would make money while i would lose money okay which means i would lose my premium that i paid to the person that was taken out of my account okay so i have to change it single option good buy i'm buying the put so i can choose whichever day i want and see that I have for that. Oh my God, that's, see, the fa when it comes to puts, the further you go, the more you can lose. So I would choose 18th of March is better. And I am changing this because the higher the price, the less, see, the higher the price, the, the lower the put price, the, the higher the amount because they feel what if it goes back up, you know, so you're taking more risk. That's why the closer it is to the market value, the more maximum profit they know you can stand the chance of making. So they're like, okay, are you willing to go through this? If you are, then you go. But if you go further out in your prices, see what happens. You're making less profit, the chance of making less profit and the chance of losing more. So high risk, high reward. Now you click on done. So if you buy the put the more the stock goes down the more you who bought the put would make more money it's not a fixed kind of profit you can make okay until it gets to zero then the, the stock is done right but the person who sold it they've already they will be the one now losing because the more it goes down the more they lose money because they are no longer okay so i will go to done done okay now this place shows you implied vol that's vitality there like oh this stock keeps going up down go up, up down up down so there's a possibility that there's a 154 percent chance of this going back up that's why you can have that much profit but if you do let's say 3.5 as a strike price you see you have the potential of losing a lot because if it goes back up you the buyer loses and the person who sold will be the one making money so you want to go with one and then done okay so now if i have a buying power let's say i have a buying power of 14 right for my option available sit at the bottom part so i will do let's say 10 okay as my limit price that i'm willing to pay for this contract then i'll go to buy so it now says you are buying the right to sell 100 shares of nile at one dollar by this so if now shares are higher than one dollar this option will expire worthless because when you buy the rights what you're saying is like hey i will take this from you and i can now sell it at my own okay then you click on confirm from monday to friday that's the only time you can sell options so it will not go through so if you want this to go through as an open order you go to good to cancel and then say 
for 60 days okay then say buy so now you are now buying the rights to sell this what I just did is a naked put because I don't have this stock that's why I went this way but this would not affect my own position I already have with the company so that's why you can buy naked puts okay and then say this now it shows that it's working then all you have to do is go back to your assets and check orders you see it's now open there and waiting okay so what I've just done is what we call a naked put I bought this without putting my stocks as a collateral look at my option there see I still have my stocks at 2689 so what I now have as an option pending is a naked put but if I did is a naked put okay now if I'm the one buying that would be a different situation because all I have to now do, if I'm the one selling then it has to be a covered put sell because it has to be sold for my okay I hope this helps anyone out there that is thinking about buying puts okay you can do it without having this company stocks as an asset in your portfolio okay so when it goes through as a naked put this is how it would appear on your phone on your asset see now one dollar 18 March 22 I now have that so this is not connected to my stock if it was connected or used my stock as a collateral as a cover stock it would have appeared like the SOS see how the SOS appeared that means it's a covered stock is a covered call or a covered put but when it appears this way it's a naked call or a naked put that's the difference on how it shows you okay guys I hope this helps someone out that I've been wondering on how to do this stuff because yeah it can be tricky I'll see you guys soon in the next video from Saudi and that's that season Bye guys. I'm so good. did you guys hear that I'm scared and